I'm, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just sitting in the kitchen now because I gotta get away from that fucking noise. And I'm just saying to myself, if you loved your music, wouldn't wouldn't it get better? Wouldn't you get better at it? But if you love making noise, you're just gonna make the same noise over and over, right? I mean, I, there's just been no marketable progress I've noticed in in the kick drum. And it's like we don't need to hear a top volume. How about you blast it when it's done? You know, when when we can hear it. Because obviously watching you in the creative, listening to you in the creative process is not faring well for you or me. I mean, you were up all night. That's like 16 hours. The Beatles' first album was made in 16 hours. (laughs) You know, you should have an album this morning. You got nothing to show for it? Well, can I give you, I mean, I'm just going to give you my unsolicited advice. Maybe you should have a single or something that you can rely on, or maybe we should just forget music. You had all night two machine drums going. The kid in the back, who's the the, the, the young kid up there? He seems like he is he does he play with the, the drums too? It seems like whenever he's on the drums, more music comes out and more productive music. He had something going yesterday, and although you can't really understand what's going on, it seems like he's he's got the leading edge. He's going to be the musician guy, and it's his speakers too. I think too. So I got my money on the little dude. I, like when I go to a when I go to a club and shit, and I imagine who the DJ is gonna be. I'd imagine it was the little dude with the white T-shirt. I could see him with the his hair is all just right. He looks like he's ready to go in front of a crowd at any time. And uh, I think he cares more. He, what does he do? Is he the guy? He's probably the guy in your life that figures out where all the cool patches are and then shows you and you never do anything with him. And then he comes home and fucks around. I got my money on that dude, on the Indian kid or whatever he is. He seems like he gives a fuck. You can hear his progress. He had some kind of shit going on yesterday, but it sounded like a musical montage. You could, he was like, oh, okay, there's shit going on there. I actually hear a bass too. Maybe you should let him play. You know, he plays good. And when he goes in the back, he puts it out. He keeps it out. He's, he's got a sound conscientious. He keeps it at one level. You know, and he realizes if the top end gets too much, he'll, he'll turn it back down. But, um, you know, you just make too much noise. You like to go boom, boom. <laughs> you like the boom, boom. You like the noise, noise. The other kid, wants, he envisions, when he's doing it for a second, he'll envision bitches swaying and dancing and moving to his shit. And he's like, yes. And then and, and that eggs him on, and then he'll create a pattern. He, eventually, he gets lost and goes away, but he's got more of a shot than you do, I'd say. The little dude. He's just got that look, too. You have that stern face on while he's doing his records. You're like... <laughs> I got my money on him. But, um... Man, I can't tell you how great this Milabot shit is. Grandma didn't pass away. Grandma's still alive somehow. I can't believe it. That's your great-grandma. Milabot. Ah. <laughs> She's still alive. You're gonna live to be 2002, just like your mom. Ah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Long live Germany, dude. Long live fucking Germany. That's all I have to say about it. Yeah. And the last time Big Bitch was calling, she was talking about Germany again, too. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't even know what you mean, but I do know what you mean. Yep. I had a dream that she called. Or I had a dream that um, I found out she's been over there for years. Yeah. Nobody bothered to ask me shit. Who's this bitch? Somebody walking out the back. Yeah. But I was like, thanks a lot, bitch. You, you like, called me last to tell me that? Okay. But I think Melagel is ready to go, too. So, so am I. I can't wait to get to get to the place where I can call home and have it quiet. Wake up with a little girl ass in front of me. Oh yeah. Don't you love that dude? It's gonna be great.